Hi. So HBO decided to adapt the book by Ray Bradbury, which, you know, if I'm being honest right here, right, just for a little bit, I think it's a great metaphor about suppressing information and knowledge from people, you know, even the extent of taking that choice away from citizens. But like when you bring computers into the mix, considering that wasn't around when the book was written, the book kind of falls into its own ashes. I was super excited to catch Michael B. Jordan produce and star in what could be his breakout of, <laughs> breakout of 2018, but honestly, it was just a stream it, sadly. Let me explain. So in this world, you got these firemen who burn up books because they're trying to get rid of any opposing ideas. It's brought up that when you're given too many options in this world, it just overwhelms you and it leads people to make bad choices. And sometimes, I guess that's true, you know. I always overstuff myself when I go to a buffet. Johnny Storm over here is one of those firefighters who blazes up books every time they find them, and he even streams it online. This dude's pretty much the Jake Paul of this world because he gets famous off destroying stuff. You got Lily Singh who's doing a super job of going from YouTube to the YouTube news just in this world. They're following them as they outswitch anybody who's been hiding books, and it's just a little weird because they do have an internet in this world, right? Granted, it's known as the Nine, and it's pretty much what happens when Ajit Pai fully takes over with net neutrality. Everything is supervised, and it's just full of bad opinions. So it's modern day Facebook. But the fact that technology exists in this adaptation, it makes me wonder why they're still keeping to that idea of having to preserve books. Like, I don't get why we're playing the Book of Eli when we can just cryptically send out codes via online stuff. I've also always wondered how they learned English because there's like, <laughs> like nobody in this world actually knows how to read text. Eventually they do end up finding the library from Beast Castle and it's there where Zod reminds Killmonger why they burn books like Huck Finn and anti-feminist stuff because uh, getting rid of those ideas helps fix those relations. You see, we are not born equal guy. So we must be made equal by the fire. So by this logic, if we only had laws telling you not to murder people, it might just stop happening. They end up confronting a lady who has these books and before they can blaze them, this lady pulls up with a suicide book vest. I, I get that she wants to die for her books for the cause on the stream, but like, girl, why'd you duct tape them as if they were like dynamite? Also, why is Bradbury's own book in this pile? As you can guess, Montag finds a girl who he likes and she's a part of the rebellion, trying to smuggle book info across the border to Canada. He stops taking those visine the giver drops that they give everyone, and he starts collecting books like Matilda. His mind is more knowledgeable than Russ, and when he tries to help a father and his daughter who are hiding... All clear, let's check upstairs. It's like, bruh, if I'm a Schindler's list you, don't crack the glass. And the next time I tell you to follow someone, you crawl into their asshole. Montag then meets up with me since I got cast in this movie at some point, and he makes a run for it after his team turns on him. He's getting chased, and they're even labeling him Murderer Montag, Terrorist Montag. Which I always think is hilarious because a white kid can shoot up a school, it's a mental illness. One black man clans a dude, all of a sudden he's a terrorist. Montag does go full Johnny Storm at the end and turns into Pikachu's master, but the rebels are able to send out that literal physical tweet that has all of the information they need across the border in order to save the Fifty Shades series. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I saw this movie twice thinking maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm just not getting the world, but it just, I don't know. It's, I've always liked the original book, the idea of the original book, but to be completely honest, the idea of burning books and people like booing text is dumber to me than like sending kids in a post-apocalyptic world to go fight for your people to not starve. I don't know. I thought it could have been better. I, I was really rooting for HBO and your boy Michael B. Jordan, but it just didn't work. You know, we're living in a world where you you really think you can get rid of memes. It doesn't matter how shredded Michael B. Jordan is. That's just not happening. Other than that, I'm curious to know your thoughts down below. Uh, let me know any other movies you want me to cover. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll send you a, an e-Kindle.